you're one of the few games athletes who has a full-time job. Mm -hmm. How are you able to train at a level that allows you to be a perennial contender for the games and still have a career and not be exhausted on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, I think just uh, being super diligent in everything I do and um, very disciplined in like my eating and my sleeping patterns. And, um, you know, I enjoy my work and I enjoy like hanging out with work friends at work that know nothing about CrossFit and like it's totally different conversations, you know than your gym friends. And I, yeah, I enjoy doing something different and I just have to take it as like, it's helping me in other ways. Like, I don't know, sometimes when I have to rush off to work after training, I'm walking around and you know what, that might be better for my body after training than just slumping on the couch for four hours. So, you know, I make it work for me. Yeah. How does working full-time affect your expectations for not only the season, but then, you know, if you make it to the games, the games as well? Not at all. I've What's never that? thought like, oh, well, I work, so I won't do as well as her. Like, because I, yeah, no, I see my work that it helps me and um, I make it work for me. So, and to be fair, this year before the games, my supervisor did give me a lot more time off. So mm -hmm. I was working one less day a week and it felt, it felt way better. And I mean, the more, the more time you have, the more time you waste, right? So even when I was on sick leave after this arm thing and I was back to training, like I was still getting as much training as I do when I work and it was taking me like the whole day. And I was like, what? <laughs> like you're just so much more inefficient when you have the whole day.